After yesterday's video, where we figured out the distance that each footprint under a nearby Pokemon represents, a lot of people asked the question, how do I know which direction to walk to find that nearby Pokemon? Well, I was going to try to show you today, but unfortunately, there's a glitch going on where every Pokemon is three footsteps away, no matter how close it actually is. So, maybe another day, we'll revisit this topic. I was really looking forward to doing more research with you guys today, but unfortunately that glitch kind of threw a wrench in the plans, so instead... Acai. And then... Road trip! Road trip! Let's go! When you're on a road trip, you're gonna want to pull your phone out and check for Pokemon at every gas station or rest stop that you stop at. Nick had explained already in a previous episode, more Pokemon will spawn anywhere where there's a lot of cellular activity. Places like gas stations, rest stops are gonna be a gold mine because that's where everyone stops. So we're gonna test the theory out and pull out the game and check it out. Let's see. You just leveled up. You opened the game and leveled up. <laughs> I got two. I got two spawns, a Spiro okay. and a Zubat. Okay, that means I should be getting a Zubat. I don't think that the game's updated enough to have them limited yet. I'll get them. Do you not have Pokeballs? Are you going to use your Great Balls? Apparently I don't have Pokeballs. Dang! Nope, caught him. So I got my Spiro. Boom, and a Zubat. Not me. I don't have a Zubat. I have two Meows here, a Pikachu. Uh, I have to get the Pikachu. I have to get the Pikachu. I haven't seen it and I haven't caught it. And everyone keeps saying that it's rare. Oh, it just disappeared. Nope. You know what? Okay, so we're still seeing the glitch today where every Pokemon is showing three footprints, which makes it hard to track things down. But since we are here at the gas station, we could probably just walk in a circle around the building and find most of these Pokemon. Like, there you go, there's and another one. Disappeared. But yeah, I do want a Pikachu, and I nope. think we will drive around until we find it. I got two more, Ekans and a Paris. So, we were, we were pretty uh, pretty correct, you guys. Exactly. Lots of Pokemon spawning at this gas station. I know a lot of you guys are going to be traveling with your parents or with friends. You guys are always going to be driving around and everyone needs gas. Simple solution. Pick out your phone, you will definitely find Pokemon anytime you stop for gas. We just caught like six or seven Pokemon over there at the gas station, and we decided to come check out the Pokestop here, which is El Taco Loco. It looks like someone's got a lure on it, and I'm curious to see, I bet it's someone who works here, because we've seen reports that businesses that are near Pokestops are just buying lures and constantly having them on to attract people into their business. Which is smart, and I know you guys have seen also the different options and opportunities that stores and businesses have been putting out. I know in Dallas you can get a free pizza if you just show them that you caught a Pokemon at their Pokestop. Make sure you guys keep your eyes open because you never know, you can get some free food. It's crazy the business opportunities that this game is creating. And we know that Niantic is planning on adding sponsored Pokestops. We know that there's been uh, McDonald's found in the game code which suggests that there might be some kind of Pokestop promotion at McDonald's. And we know that businesses are going to be able to pay to have their own Pokestop, and they'll pay per visit. So the more people come to their Pokestop, the more they'll pay Niantic. And you know what's crazy? This is something we actually discussed in one of our preliminary videos, and something that we were hoping for is that every Starbucks or every McDonald's should be a Poke Center. And it's a place where they have free Wi-Fi, where you can go in and connect, and anyone of all ages can go there, connect, and play. And if that's the case, all your Pokemon are going to be healed. The fascinating thing to me is that we can create something in a digital space that gets more people to come to a physical location and spend money. It's crazy. Exactly. This is the future. Let's spin this Pokestop, see if it gives us some sweet roadside items. My bag is full. I got an egg. Can I get a chicken sandwich? Which chicken sandwich? Hello. Are you a Pokemon trainer? Yes. Oh, me too. What team are you? Team Blue? Good. Team Mystic? Are Good you job. Team Mystic? Yep. There you go. Oh, what's up guys? Okay, so it's the end of our trip. We did get here and we're really excited about what's going to happen tomorrow. We can't wait to take you on our big surprise again, our second one of the week. And we're back. Let's go. That's right. Well, I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. So right now I'm standing directly on top of an Ekans. I'm going to use my research assistant Pikachu here to mark the Ekans location. Now I'm going to walk in a straight line directly away from the Ekans. 
So what I've done is walked directly away from the Ekans until it started showing three footsteps on my nearby Pokemon list. I'm gonna walk straight back towards it, and every time the footsteps change, I'm gonna place down one of these buckets as a marker. 